What is a de facto contingency? Uh, so um, we have contingency contracts and um, a contingency contract is I'm going to sell my property so I can buy your property. And a lot of people will come in and say, uh, well, I'm going to give you a cash offer. And they don't reveal or disclose that the cash that they're actually using is from the sale of their other property. So they're not marking on the offer to purchase that it, it is a contingency. But we get suspicious when we see longer days. So if you have the cash to buy the property, it should take you two to four weeks to close. But if you give us a contract and you say it's cash and it's actually going to close in two months, we call that a de facto contingency, which means I'm not revealing or disclosing that I have to sell my property. And I probably will supply you proof of funds to show you that I have the cash. But really what I'm trying to do is put my house on the market, sell it, avoid um, the penalties of pulling out that cash from some other source. And so even though you're not revealing or disclosing, a de facto contingency means we probably have to sell something before we can buy yours. And one of the telltale signs of that is the length of the contract.